Hi everybody, I got another request that I totally forgot about and then I looked at my email and it had that request. So someone asked me what um, you need to do a board or something, what you need for a board, something like that. Um, okay, first off, you need to know stuff about horses. So lessons is number one on that list. Definitely lessons. And when you do those lessons, you want to potentially tell your trainer that you want to lease the horse so that in the long run, she knows you do and so she will um be able to help you with the you know cost and you know inform you and and show you what you need to do not only like in the ring riding but also on the ground so what you're going to need when you first get that horse i'm not sure if you're talking about a free lease or if you're talking about a lease that your trainer will have Basically, if you're having a, a just a lease that your trainer has, m for the most part, you're just going to need a helmet, boots, half chaps if you're doing English, and if you're doing Western, you know, so I would still recommend a helmet and some cowgirl boots, you know, with the heel on them and the sharp toe, and I don't use spurs, I don't use whips, I don't use crops. I have a crop, and I have a whip, but I, have, I haven't needed it on karma, and I just don't believe in it anyways i train karma to be a very sensitive horse under saddle not in a bad way but in a way that she understands her rider so i don't use any of that crap so i would not recommend getting that stuff especially if you can you know reinforce the what do you want to call it like reinforce the sensitiveness in your horse i don't know how to explain that so what i would get if i was leasing at a barn what i had because the last time i leased i leased freely so it, it was all me by myself i had to get a vet for the first time all by myself and i'd never seen a vet i never know i never knew what a vet costed so i called the vet up myself and i asked him how much it costed and i bought um a bunch of stuff for my horse and I had to get a farrier out there and everything because my horse's hooves were like three months overdue like when I got him because of the owner didn't take good care of him. But anyways, um, what I get um, for my horse, what's in my tack box is I have liquid um, wound spray. That's always good to have around. I have Shoshin for like when you um, brush out their tail and stuff. And then I also have this other Cowboy Magic to get out the ta um, hair. And then you, would, you might want your own tack box with, you know, brushes and treats and... I use canola oil, but your trainer will be feeding it, so you don't really need that. And then I would just get a mane and tail brush. So I got all that stuff from my least horse, and then I obviously got a hoof pick because that's really important. So then you also, like I said, you want a helmet, and um, eventually if you're getting good in the lease, and if the horse doesn't have a saddle, then, you know, get a saddle. There's tons of different types. There's collegiates, there's corbette, there's, I don't know if they have R yet, but that's the brand of boot I have, I don't know. And then um, for a western saddle, the best kind of western saddle I heard was a, cir a circle Y. And then, um, you know, you need a girth, obviously, a saddle pad. There's saddle pads up here. That's when you get into your lease. And then um, a bridle. This is Karma's bridle. So, yeah, you need a bridle and a bit. And then some bridles have this thing on it. I don't have one yet. Where is it? Where is the thing? A lot of people don't know you need this, but you do. Where is it? Oh, is this it? I don't know where it is. Oh, wait. Yeah. Huh? No. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Where is it? I don't know what. I don't know what it really. I, I, there's one on one of the bit on one of the things. It's called a bit holder, and it holds the bit up. I don't have one though. I don't really know. And then there's also curb chain bits and stuff if your horse needs help like that. But I just use a regular bit. I was gonna move Karma to a different bit because she was being disrespectful for a while because she was in, actually in heat. But I stayed with my. Um, snaffle bit so yeah you want to research the horse and know what it needs and how sensitive it is so when you do that then you'll definitely want to get um you know a bit that fits them well a saddle that fits them well because you can't just go out and buy a saddle you have to get the saddle fitted there's different tree sizes there's there's narrow medium wide tree there's extra wide carmen almost needed an extra wide because she's an arab and she has a round barrel but she, for the most part, I don't know, she just uses a wide at the moment and her saddle's up there. And it has really big flaps too, but it's a collegiate and it's also an interchangeable gullet one. So you can change out the gullet. Anyway, so now I'm going to go to my video of what's in my tack box because I forgot to do that too. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do. Bye.